Yo, Steve, I'm hungry. Man, me too. Let's go hit some Mac Tech. I can't be, can't be eating like that anymore. Went to the doctor. Turns out I have high cholesterol. How'd you get that? I don't know, man. It's not, I don't know. I think it might be my diet. Big, Big Macs for like, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I don't think it's that healthy anymore. Haha, <laughs> Steve, that's too much. I mean, it's just those Macs. They're good. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much for me. I can't resist. Wait, then what can we eat then? I don't know. I think it has to be something healthy. We should, we should look. I say we search. Yeah, we have to find something healthy to eat. All right, let's go, Steve. Let's go. Damn, Steve, I'm beat. Where can we get you healthy food? I know, we've been walking for like hours and hours and all we see is all these fast food joints. Wait, why don't we try some markets? But it has to be a good market. We wanted to create our first prototype market at communities that were underserved and have the ability to provide uh, fresh produce and provide healthy choices at communities that usually are underserved with this type of choice. Really, what we want to provide is a service to our customers. We want to be able for them to be able to come here and, and be able to uh, uh, purchase everything that they need. So what happens uh, in our store is that this store is tailored for this community because the, the products that we have are products that the community have asked us to order. Everything looks so fresh, so clean, and the types of fruit and produce that they have is really excellent. And I'm always in the community, and we have driven by, and my husband was telling me, you need to stop. It's a new store. But what you've got to do is go to the right places. They've got the farmer's market on the other side of town. We've got the produce market downtown. So that's why it's nice to see this store in this community so we can give that same exposure to our young ones here. But uh, I think overall it can, be, it can be a very healthy place to live because like when you have stores like this who help out and give out to the community, it can be a very healthy environment and it can help get the community involved. What we want to put, start putting is healthy programs here, uh, having programs where we can have in our sampler station to uh, see, to actually be able to expose the community to healthy choices and how it also can be very tasty and very uh, good. There's another one. Another one of what? Well, I've been seeing all these EBT signs on every fast food restaurant. Wait, EBT? I thought EBTs were supposed to be used on healthy foods. Hey, what's that over there? Is that a campsite? Wait, wait, campsite? In the middle of Crenshaw? Yeah. Wait, wait, that looks... What? They're selling food? Is that a farmer's market I see? Let's go check it out! Shall we? Hi, my name 
my name is Steve. Betty Brown. Uh, we're wondering if we could ask you a few questions. When did the farmer's market in, in Crenshaw start? Uh, originally, we started in Lemert Park Village Farmer's Market about four years ago. We moved to uh, this location, Baldwin Hills Crenshaw Plaza, a year ago, just a little bit over a year ago. You know, we do what we can to interact and to encourage healthy eating. And one way we do that is by having ex the dietitian here, which you saw today. Beet and apple, and this is good for you. This is have a lot of antioxidants. So if you're doing a project, you gotta taste what we're doing. But this is very healthy. Mm, good. This, all this, is represent how much fat is in one hamburger. Okay, but it, this is one hamburger, and also one large Coke. It doesn't matter from where. This is how much sugar in 20 ounce cola have 68 grams of sugar, which is 17 teaspoons of sugar in one 20 ounce soda. It's 3,500 calories. So if we need to lose one pound, this is what we're going to lose, 3,500 calories. So what do you think? What do you think about this fat? I didn't even know I was consuming this much in a day. Sometimes people probably don't even know that this farmer's market exists around them. High quality, so it's a higher quality. So sometimes it's worth it. Do you want to have a moment of your time? Absolutely. Oh uh, yeah, I'm Steve. Hi Steve, I'm April. Okay. Uh, we're wondering, uh, what do you sell here? Uh, this is raw sugar cane juice. It's a uh, fresh pressed grass juice. Do we have a moment of, moment of your time? Yes, sure thing. I'm Steve and Sam. Okay. Uh, we're wondering, uh, where do you guys come from? Because I see right here South Central. There's a farm in South Central. Like over the years, we've managed to acquire land through donations and like you know hard work and well it's high in amino acids and chlorophyll uh, we have six different blends they all have different properties and different benefits and uh, we're bringing down like organic produce certified now and we got a lot of different community type projects started and a lot of farmers markets around the city I love the Crenshaw Farmers Market. Everyone's super friendly uh, they want to know you know about the products they're happy that we're here because, you know, in lower income communities, there's a lot of junk food places. And so there's a lot of really unhealthy people and they're just, I think, itching to, to know more about how to help themselves through food. What we choose, that's the key, what we choose when we go out. Doesn't matter where we go, we always can find healthy stuff or better choices wherever we go. We've been eating McDonald's all the time. That stuff is really bad for you. Man, I thought that was the only method of eating. <laughs> Me too, huh? Hey man, I didn't even know there were that many healthy options out there. Well, at least now we're more informed. Uh -huh. Here we got these veggie burgers. Uh, good!